And for some reason the umpires have walked out onto the field and they are waving the Reds off the field. Tom it looks like we've had a bug infestation. I'm wondering if it is a, a, a big colony of bees. Hey boys you got, you got to check out Derek teacher getting in the, in the dugout here. <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> yes, that is Derek Dietrich. You gotta love that guy. No doubt about it. I mean to tell you. On the hill today for the Reds, seventh start of the year. Anthony D. Sclafani. Last three games, he's been really good. 17 two thirds hits, third thirds inning, nine hits, one earned run, one home run, striking out 20. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw to second base, and he is safe. Boat is out of there on strikes. You know they're going to take a look at that because it looks like the slide came in and the foot of Steven Duggar actually went on to the foot of Jose Iglesias and they're going to call him out. How about that. So it is a strikeout throw out double play and that's because of Iglesias and what a very very bright young man he is. So here's Nick Genzel who got to the big leagues on Friday and uh, I think he's shown everybody that he's going to be a really good player. Senzel a fly ball in a deep right Got field it. and that's being aggressive the first strike you see you play long ball. Boy Nick Senzel at the top of the lineup gives the Reds a little bit of a dimension that they have not had in a long long time in a leadoff hitter which is a combination of speed and power. How about this opposite field blast right here to get it all going. So Votto the roller for an infield hit and now Suarez. Has Suarez done it for a third straight game left center field and he has a home run in three straight games. 11th pitch of the at bat by Eugenio Suarez and that's number 10. And here we are three nothing after three batters today with two home runs. And now we'll contend with shortstop Jose Iglesias. And that is a fair ball the other way off Iglesias bat this will easily score Farmer. And Iglesias has shut it down. Now he's trying to turn it into a three base hit, and he's lucky he'll get there. The right fielder Duggar had some troubles down there, and Iglesias had shut it down. We'll see if they rule out a double and an error or a three base hit. It is a triple. First three base hit of the year for Iglesias, and Kurt Casale will stand in, the seventh man to hit. As there's a base hit by Casale to make it 5 0. Casale with his six run knocked in in just 43 at bats. So here's Pablo Sandoval, belted second, and nobody out. On the ground to third. Unbelievable. Hit it right to Suarez, who throws over everybody. And yeah. that's going to bring in a run. And going to third or first will be Sandoval. The Giants are on the board. And here's a guy that started that whole thing in the first inning today. His second major league home run. Slipped significantly since then. Senzel done it again. Has he done it again? He has done it again. Oh, baby. Well, there's some serious pop in that back. Well, the league is still trying to figure out how to pitch Nick Senzel. You know, you've got scouts out in AAA. They know about him. They know where his strengths and weaknesses are. But until he starts putting up some at bats at the big league level, you don't really know. And the Giants are now figuring that uh, on the outer part of the plate and up is not a good place to start. Two down of the inning, and here's Iglesias who tripled into the right field corner to knock a run home in the first. And Iglesias does it again. This one down the right field corner one run will score they're going to wave now hold please. A double and a triple today. A couple of runs batted in for Jose Iglesias. Reds now lead seven to one. And he hits this one hard. Diving catch by Farmer at second to throw to first in time. Two down. Nice play by Kyle Farmer. I don't think there's any question that if Farmer can get to the baseball, he's going to make the play. A collegian at the University of Georgia still holds the fielding percentage record of Georgia for a shortstop. One and two on Gerber. Strike three call. Mercy, mercy is Di Sclafani dealing again here today. That's his eighth strikeout. Boy, he's really throwing the ball well. 0 oh, 2. Barraza hits one on the ground softly. Diving Crawford from his knees. What a play. Brandon Crawford showing off that gold glove form to get the out at second. What a play is right. And we've seen that a lot in his career. It's the ability to read the ball off the bat, get the good first step, lay out, dive, get up, and make a strong throw. Here's Sandoval. With runners at first and third. Pablo to right center field and deep. And the Giants are back in this game. A three run homer with two outs and two strikes. Can they do it again today? Maybe so. Why not? Seven to four. Third home run of the year. 
for Pablo Sandoval. Now that's what makes Pablo Sandoval so dangerous. You think he got him set up for a fastball up. He swung through a few of them. And Pablo Sandoval, based on his prior two at bats, does a nice job of getting to that pitch and beating that pitch up and in. Now Iglesias has done some serious damage here today. And looking for more damage here. This ball driven into deep left field, and it's over the head of uh, Gerber. Two runs are going to score, and how about the day for Iglesias? Three hits and now four runs batted in. And here's Kasami. And this ball into left center field. This one will fall in. Farmer rounding third. RBI single by Kasali. His second hit and second driven in today. Five or more runs in each of the four game series. And this should tie a ribbon around it. And it does. Good work by Duke and Peralta. 12-4 is our final.